This morning, we are about to meet another patient that is proud to say he has Newsom eyes, another doctor. Joining me once again this morning are doctors Dr. Hunter Newsom, Dr. Eric Fazio on the end, along with their patient, Dr. Sergio Perdia. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. And not just any doctor, another eye doctor. So I love that, uh, again, we're meeting more patients. I love what your office is doing, and you're really, you kind of compare it to like the Mayo Clinic of Eyes, and you're saying we're really trying to up the game in what we're doing here in the Bay Area. Yes. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, there's a disease called keratoconus, mm -hmm. um, which is where rather than having an eye that's shaped nice and round like a basketball, it's actually pointy like the bottom of an ice cream cone. Oh, that and sounds that, lovely. Yeah, and that's a disease that usually gets worse with time. So we know that if we can catch patients early before their cornea starts to peak and get too pointy, you can stop keratoconus. And outside the United States, there's collagen cross-linking using just UV light and a vitamin drop, which is a pretty easy procedure to do that can really 90% of the time kind of stop this. So we want to try and find patients that we can help prevent this from ever getting worse and really so they don't have these big issues down the road in life. Finding patients, then finding the right team, though, that can actually help treat this. And that's where you step in. That's where your team steps in. Talk a little bit about what you were able to do here for uh, the doctor here. Well, you know, I think we're kind of similar in a way. Uh, keratoconus is in my family with my two first mm -hmm. cousins. You know, with myself, I've been spared it. I don't have the disease myself. But we're kind of looking for that. And with Dr. Perdia, what was really cool is, like, let's do the procedure on somebody that really can communicate with us on a professional level. Like, what happened? Yeah. How do you feel? What's your feedback? What can we do better? Um, plus, how is it advantageous, uh, maybe compared to some of the other procedures on the market? That's really why we're doing the research. The research, first of all, I think is let's get the word out there. Let's get patients in. Because it's Cause somewhat rare. It's I mean, rare, but one in a thousand. Okay. But people that have it are really miserable. Like mm -hmm. they're like disabled. It's a disabling condition, and the people out there that know they have it, they they're hearing it right now, which is awesome. But then if they can get into us, it's such a simple procedure. We'd like to think, mm -hmm. but that's kind of what we, we want to hear from Doc here on. How, how it went. Yeah, well, and let's see, I mean, were you miserable before? I mean, what? I mean, my condition is definitely early, mm -hmm. which is where you which want to catch it. Which is where you it. want it, yeah. Um, but with my family's history and my history, um, once Dr. Newsom and Dr. Fazio were uh, offering the treatment, I definitely wanted to do that, uh, go in there, get the treatment done. And it's definitely been a life changer. The only option before then was just waiting till it got worse enough to where you would need a transplant. So they've given me the confidence of knowing that this condition won't progress and it's been a huge weight off my back. Um, and, and we're kind of bearing the lead. This was done, this procedure was done, what, a week and a half ago? Yes. You would have never have known. Right. How are you feeling today? Excellent. I mean, um, during the treatment, a little bit of irritation, a little bit of light sensitivity. Next day, I was able to go back to work, no issues. The week after, we did the follow-up and in the scans, we've already noticed a little bit of an improvement, actually. Wow. So it's excellent. Yeah, well, and from the perspective of, of a medical professional, as he said, I mean, kind of talk about their team. And, and again, you know, they are kind of stepping up the game and doing this extra research, kind of going that extra mile. Right. I'm assuming you saw that yes. with your visits as well. That's why you went to them. Yeah, definitely. Their technology is uh, excellent. They got all the quality machines to do the scans, mm -hmm. catch the disease early, get it treated. Um, and I'm extremely grateful for Dr. New or Dr. Newsom, Dr. Fazio for doing the treatment for me. Is that the take home, catching this early too? Catching, two things are sure. one. Mm -hmm. One is catching it early because if we can stop this at his stage versus mm -hmm. letting it get bad 10, 20 years mm -hmm. down the road, it's awful and you may need a corneal yeah. transplant. Mm -hmm. The other thing is sort of the first generation cross-linking we didn't get involved in because of the research and the opportunities, we get to see technology a couple years down the road from other things done outside the United States. We went into an FDA study for sort of the second generation, which is called an epithelial on. So rather than doing a procedure that removes the whole front surface mm -hmm. of your eye, we're able to, le which can be a four or five day, very uncomfortable procedure. We went into a technique that left the front surface of his eye on, just put a few drops on his eyes. Rather than taking 45 minutes, it took about about five and a half mm -hmm. minutes mm -hmm. so it was very easy so he recovered the next day he's back at work versus really being uncomfortable 
and that's the second generation that and we're on TV uh, a week later. Yep. <laughs> well, gentlemen, thank you. And it, it's so obvious to see the passion that you and your team have about really, again, kind of upping the game uh, for eye care. And uh, we appreciate you being here in the Bay Area and coming on our show. If you want to find out more, again, this is just one of the areas they treat and help patients with. There is their number, their information on the screen. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon.